Alright guys, Austin Thompson here, I hope you're doing okay. I wanted to show you this little haircut I've been working on. It is a kind of modern, loose version of a wolf haircut. So we've subdivided the hair into two sections more or less, from the parietal ridge down, and everything on this underneath section we are going to pull our sections out on a horizontal angle, and then we are going to razor cut from about two thirds of the way down the hair. And what this is going to do is create beautiful, like seamless texture on the underneath section of the hair. Really nice way to remove some of that weight and open out some of the natural movement. Cool on hair that's quite curly, quite dense, wavy, not especially good on fine hair because we are reducing the bulk and you don't want that on fine hair necessarily. So you can see how the hair moves on the side that has been razor cut compared to the other side. So follow that section round on the other side of the head. Again, pulling the hair straight out, use a reference point from your previous section and that will let you know where to start your razor cutting technique. So as we work around to the side, we want to pay attention not to really knock out the front hairline so much because that's where we want to keep a little bit more weight and we don't want it to look too fine there. So keep the maximum amount of length and weight on the outline and the perimeter, but while still opening out that texture. Okay, repeat the same on the other side, working short to long. Then when we work around the front, we're going into like a long bang. So just take the section shortest in the middle and razor cut out to the side. So the shorter hair in the middle will push the longer hair away and create a really lived in soft, natural movement around the front. As we get onto the section on the top, we are pivoting around from the central point of the crown and then following a similar te technique to underneath where we start from a shortest point that we can, you know, you can decide you can decide that based on the feel, how much you want the hair to be layered. You can take it shorter if you want it more extreme, or you can leave it a bit longer if you want to just introduce softness. So we use scissors here, so we're using a saw cutting technique which is a little bit more controlled than the razor, but it's more or less when we're using the scissors we aren't dragging it through the hair, we're using a, a kind of open and closing technique where we're just using the heels and just keeping that real soft angle for maximum texture. Alright, always using the, the guideline from the previous section as your reference point and that will be your shortest point, so you pivot from the crown. Then just spend a little bit of time moving the hair around, see how it feels. Through the front I've done a little bit more razor cutting to introduce more texture and softness through the front, but just always being cautious of like the balance, the look and how the hair is feeling. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and thanks to everyone who's been subscribed to my channel. Leave me a comment if you're into that kind of thing and I will see you in the next video. I'm on the rail, I wrap it, I bag it, I pack it for sale. Got feeling I'll speed out, I hit me a chill. I give it a thrill, I put it on film. Facade, get a plot, that ain't real. Come to my